So, here we are again. The Word of God. Let us begin by singing Psalm 100. Be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his, we are his sheep and the sheep of his, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. And blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you and also with you. And let us pray. O oh God, almighty God, uh, kindle, we beseech thee in every heart, the true love of peace and guide with thy wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility thy dominion may increase till the earth is filled with the knowledge of thy love through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Judges chapter 16, verses 15 through 31. Judges chapter 15, verses, Judges 16 actually, verses 15 through 31. Let's see here, where, what we got? 16, 16. Through 31. With such nagging, she proclaimed him day after day. She, uh, with such nagging, she prodded him day after day till he was sick to death of it. So he told her everything. No razor has ever been used on my head, he said, because I have been a Nazarite. Uh, dedicated to God from my mother's womb. If my head were shaved, my strength would leave me, and I would become a, as weak as any other man. When Delilah saw he had uh, told her everything, she sent word to the rulers of the Philistines, Come back once more. He has told me everything. So the rulers of the Philistines 
returned with the silver in their hands. Uh, after putting him to sleep on her lap, she called for someone to shave off the seven braids of his hair. So uh, began the so and so began to subdue him and his strength left him. Then she called Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He woke up from his sleep and thought, I'll go out as before and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. When the Philistines seized him, gouged out his eyes and took him down to Gaza. Then the Philistines seized him, gouged out his eyes, took him down to Gaza. Binding him with bronze shackles, they set him to grain grain in the prison. But the hair on his head began to grow again after it had been shaved. Now the rulers of the Philistines assembled to offer a great sacrifice to Dagon, their God, and to celebrate, saying, Our God has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. When the people saw him, they praised their God, saying, Our God has delivered our enemy into our hands, the one who laid waste our land and multiplied our slain. While they were in high spirits, they shouted, Bring out Samson to entertain us. So they called Samson out of the prison, and he performed for them. When they st stood him among the pillars, Samson said to the servant who held his hand, Put me where I can feel the pillars that support the temple so that I may lean against them. Now the temple was crowded with men and women. All the rulers of the Philistines were there. And on the roof were about 3,000 men and women watching Samson perform. Then Samson prayed to the Lord, Sovereign Lord, remember me. Please, God, strengthen me just once more and let me with one blow get revenge on the Philistines for my two eyes. Then Samson reached toward the two central pillars on which the temple stood, bracing himself against them, his right hand on the one and his left on the other. Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. Then he pushed with all his might, and down came the temple and the rulers and all the people in it. Thus he killed many more when he died than while he lived. Then his brothers and his father's uh, uh, whole family went down to get him. They brought him back and buried him between Zoar and Eshral in the tomb of uh, Man Manoah, his father. He led Israel 20 years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word the reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 through 11. Chapter 13, verses 1 through 11. In the 18th year of the reign of uh, Jeroboam, Abijah became king of Judah, and he reigned in Jerusalem three years. His mother's name was Malak, a daughter of Earl of Giba. Uh, there were, was war between Abadai and Jeroboam. Abadai, Abijah went into battle 
<coughs> with an army <coughs> of 400,000 uh, able fighting men. And Jeroboam drew up a battle line against him with 800,000 able troops. Abijah stood on Mount uh, Zimmerah in the hill country of Ephraim and said, Jeroboam and all Israel, listen to me. Don't you know that the Lord, the God of Israel, has given the kingship of Israel to David and his descendants forever by a covenant of salt? Yet Jeroboam, son of Nebat, an official of Solomon, son of David, rebelled against his master. Some worthless scoundrels gathered around him and opposed Rehoboam, son of Solomon, when he was young and in, in decisive and not strong enough to resist them. And now you plan to resist the kingdom of the Lord, which is in the hands of David's descendants. You are indeed a vast army and have with you the golden calves that Jeroboam made to be your gods. But don't you drive out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, and make priests of your own as the peoples of other lands do. Whoever comes to consecrate himself with a young bull and seven rams may become a priest of what are not gods. And uh, as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him. The priests who serve the Lord are sons of Aaron, and the Levites assist them. Every morning and every and evening they present burnt offerings and fragrant incense to the Lord. They set out the bread on the uh, ceremony clean table and light the lamps on the gold lampstands every evening. We are observing the requirements of the Lord our God, but you have forsaken him. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark chapter 5, verses 25 through 34. St. Mark chapter 5. Verses 25 through 34. Okay. And a woman was there who had uh, been subject to bleeding for 20 years. She had suffered a great deal of great deal under the care of many doctors and said and had spent all she had yet instead of getting better she grew worse when she heard about jesus she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak uh, because uh, she thought if i just touch his cloak i will be healed immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering uh, at once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? Uh, you see the people crowded against you, his disciples answered, and yet you can ask, Who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing that what had happened to her, came and uh, fell at his feet and trembled with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. 
Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now, what we see here, you know, we see a situation where, you know, there's, there's a woman in great suffering and uh, uh, she's suffering from bleeding. She's in a crowd of people. And, you know, the disciples are even like, well, you know, telling Christ, how can you ask who touched me? You know, you're in a crowd of people. Uh, you know, it's like, it could be anybody, you know. And also, too, I mean, people could be like, you know, really getting close to Jesus here. And But a lot of this, you know, the woman touched Christ out of faith, out of the hope that uh, by touching him, in the belief that in touching him that she was going to get better you know and and that's the whole situation there that she went in faith touched his garments got better now all everybody else there a lot of the other people they might have been rubbing up against jesus might not have had much difference in their lives i mean really but that's where the difference of faith really makes a big difference. I know that uh, when we look at the whole situation, like with, uh, you know, we look at Samson there and his uh, uh, situation at the temple uh, of, of some other, you know, false, from at the temple of a false god, it was some other god that isn't a real god. He was at the temple of it. He brought it down out of faith. You know, he, he uh, uh, you know, came to the Lord and requested that uh, the Lord would give him strength once, once more. And, uh, and, and the Lord did. So he, he came out of faith asking for that. And then, you know, we also see too that, uh, I mean, there's, there's other, other, you know, other scripture there. Um, a lot of scripture where it really shows faith is important. Um, you know, I know that the whole issue there with, you know, Israel being corrupt at various times where, you know, people, people said, well, I mean, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're continually correct in, in what we believe and others just going out and, you know, worshiping golden calves and stuff. I mean, you know, that's a big difference in faith. I mean, one, one group saying, no, we want to, you know, believe what's true. We're going to believe what's true. You know, another group just going out and having at it with the golden calves. And, um, you know, the moral of the story here, so to speak, is that, you know, we, we want to be loving. We want to be, uh, you know, like we want to care for each other, but we, we don't want to lose the faith. You know, we want to be strong in the faith. You know, we, we, uh, we don't want to be deceived either. We don't want to be like uh, uh, Samson's wife there and stuff or we don't want to be like samson where his wife is deceiving him and and taking his power so he can be handed over to the philistines you know we want to be like honest and uh you know have have spouses that are honest if we can you know we want to be you know we want to be like like in the lord you know in in, in christ always and you know us our families you know and, and we don't want to have situations like what the old testament talks about you know where it's just sad it's really sad you know and, um, you know samson being turned over the philistine rulers and everything that happened they're very sad and so you know my hope is and, and i pray you know, right now, even that you and your families are blessed by God, 
in that it's a good and godly thing that you have, you know, the, the faith that is, is correct faith and that it's saving faith. Because uh, that's what really matters, that you're able to love each other, love one another, you know, uh, love your neighbors as yourselves, but do so with correct faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten the Father, God from God, a light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all the bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will and all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight, have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the part eternal light rest, uh, let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have been in a joy, may also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our needs and for those of others. Father God, I pray that things go well for my mother. You know, I pray that things go well for my, um, you know, upcoming marriage. I pray that uh, you would greatly bless uh, my housing, uh, bless things that happen at my job, bless those things that happen at other people's jobs. I pray, Father God, that you protect my mother, provide for her, care for her, cause her to have an abundance of all good things. I pray that all those that are watching, that you greatly bless them and provide for them, uh, cause them to have an abundance of all good things. Uh, pray that uh, uh, you know anybody, anybody watching, be greatly blessed. That you take away whatever evil influence is binding on them and cause them to grow on all manner of righteousness and salvation. O oh, Almighty God, kindle we beseech thee in every heart the true love of peace and guide with thy wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquility thy dominion may increase till the earth is filled with the knowledge of thy love. Through Jesus Christ, the Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the union of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Okay. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly heart sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, uh, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins. For our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, your sins are absolved you. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. 
The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift in the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Therefore, we praise you, join our voice with our angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in infinite love, you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen in sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share human nature, to love and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over his suffering and death, our Lord, Jesus Christ took bread and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to disciples and said, Take eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine and, and uh, when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, this is my blood and new covenant which is shed for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this remember to me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memory of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be fear people, the body and blood of of your son uh, be for your people the body and blood of your son the holy food and drink of new and ending life in him sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive the holy sacrament and serve you in unity costing peace the last day bring us with all your saints in the joy of your eternal kingdom all this we ask for your son Jesus Christ by him with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit all in our glory is yours almighty father now and forever amen and now as our Savior Christ has taught us and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, hallelujah. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us in everlasting, keep you in everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep our house life. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Blood of Christ. Let us continue by singing a psalm, psalm number 45. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is loving to everyone. 
His compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power, that the peoples may know of your power and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is faithful in all his works and merciful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall. He lifts up those who are bowed down. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, who graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Since now we're in the world of peace, and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and sinless of heart. Through Christ the Lord, amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds and knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, be among your man with you always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.